Okay, this is actually a really good start. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we're going for a broom. Yes, we're basically buying everything. We already get our sword combination. Um, and yeah, so we could roll here. Maybe we could get like, well, what, what would we want? A pig, right? That's the only thing. Oh my God. Got the pig. Perfect start. Getting the banana next round. Probably gonna get some space next round too because the game loves us, apparently. That is a leather armor on the round one. And usually you always win if you pick leather armor on round one. Even though ours start was goaded, theirs was just better because they got a freaking leather armor, bro. Ah, Sag. Um, definitely buying a banana though. Um, I kind of do want space here. So I think that I'm probably just going to probably just going to roll for some space. Nice. Got the space. Very, 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 very nice. And then we get to do something like that. That works. Um, I don't think I'm gonna roll again. I think we're just gonna stick with this. And we're just gonna roll with this. I think this is, I think this is decent. Okay, I see what you got. Little, little uh, pan situation with a wooden buckler. I mean, we should win this, theoretically. Um, just because wooden buckler has kind of been sucking lately and uh, why are we losing? Wait, wait, wait. If we survive Berserk, I'm gonna win. Okay, yeah. But yeah, wooden buckler has kind of been sucking lately and so has spike show so usually i just never pick it up literally never i'm just gonna pick this up just because definitely probably should get that probably gonna get space as well um and yeah i think we're just gonna rock with this for the most part yeah nice um and i'll buy this too put that inside my uh my broom and yeah, I should have bought the stone, but eh. uh, Goober, early Goober is good. Early Goober is good. He's got good activity. He's got good DPS. He's got good stamina. It's a really solid build right now. Hopefully, I mean, we can heal. We can put on that poison. Blind helps as well. Okay, we win this. We win this. But that's that's not a bad start. He's got a pretty solid start, to be fair. But yeah, we we, we got pretty lucky early as well. So that's really good for us. Good game, though. Um. What about a clause of attack? Well, this build might not actually be bad, to be fair. Because the clause of attack is only, I think, a 0.3 stamina usage. So we're, we'll be at 1.6. We can maybe, you know, dig it out with another banana. Getting it this early might not be bad either. I'm going to go ahead and get that. A little risky, but I think I think it'll be good for us. I think it'll be good for us. Um, I'm going to get this pig, too. Yeah, a little claws of attack. I usually don't go for claws of attack. Usually, unless you know, I just see it in the same shop, and one of the items I need is on sale. You know what I mean? But other than that, I usually don't go for a claws of attack. Wow, we're gonna die to a burning torch with freaking a 80% chance to inflict two poison. You get more poison than the poison build. That's insane. What luck. Good game though. Okay. Um, roll. Probably gonna pick up this fanny pack. I woo deck of cards. That was a lot of woo wooing. Uh, probably gonna get this deck of cards realistically. Okay, this works. Nice. But yeah, um, another banana would be good too for the sake of our stamina. And we also gonna need this stone skin potion eventually. So I'm gonna reserve that and get these two. And this can just go here. All right, we got another form of DPS, only a 0.3 stamina usage. That's the only reason I got it realistically, but yeah, with both of our bananas, we should be fine. As long as we don't go against somebody with a shield, I mean, our stamina should should be good. And we got a lot of DPS with that addition of the extra weapon. So if we go against somebody with a shield, we might be in trouble, but just hopefully we just don't go against somebody with a shield. Um, that was it. We didn't buy anything. Can't really activate that. So I'm not even going to bother putting it on there. What? This entire time, that's all you got? It's like you spent most of your money on the this guy. Yeah, we win this. I guess he's trying to go... For, I guess he's w King Falcon Blade. That's the only thing I could think of. He's just literally w King a Falcon Blade right now. But that is not going to help you, my friend. Good game, though. Do we need this? I do need this. Oh, crap. I just realized I need a Poison Goober. Oh, crap. Okay, I do need this, though. I do need a Poison Goober as well. Unless we go for a different build... 
Don't know what we're doing here. Don't know. Um, because this is a ruby chunk. That's a ruby chunk for sure. I also see the hungry blade there. I might be going for a different build um, because we get we get, you know, we get the cards next round, not the cards. We get the class items next round. So I kind of have to decide on what build I'm going for here. You know what I mean? We don't have the poison goober. I was going to go for that build, but I think we're going to go for an unhealing build instead because we don't have poison goober. We have the hungry blade. Both of those are really good for us. So I think that's pretty much the direction we're going in right now. So, yeah. Um, In that case, I'm going to just sell the shell totem because that's going to be too much stamina. We're just going to get this guy. And then we're going to get you, which means we don't really need to have the deck of cards in here anymore. I might actually just get this space as well because we're going to need this space, I think. Let's see here. Because we can do boom. Boom. Use you as an activator. Uh, and I guess this guy. Um. Maybe we can just do this. And double picky. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Put that in there. Stamina's gonna be lacking, unfortunately, because I don't have both bananas in there, but maybe we'll be okay. That's a lot of food. I like the way it looks, too. Satisfying. We should win. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Okay, in that case, we're gonna go for an unhealing build. Um I think we're gonna go Nocturnal Locklifter unhealing build. Because we have Hungry Blade. And we got another Hungry Blade. So that's really good, which means we don't we don't need this stone skin potion anymore. So we're probably going to sell that eventually. I could go for a ruby chunk. I don't need one. I really don't need one. We'll take that out. We need we need to get our uh, mana orb. Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> right when we needed it, we got it, which is awesome. My mouse is about to die. <laughs> It's over here clicking weird. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, but yeah. So to get a combination there, this can go here. Um, we can use this as an activator. We don't have any mana generation though. We have no blueberries. We have no toads. We don't have anything as far as like actually generating mana goes, which is unfortunate. I guess I'll keep it like this. I was thinking about putting the cards in there, but I think we'll be okay. Let me make sure I get me a magic staff. And practically large greatsword. Oh my god, a 94 critical at the start of the game. It is very, very scary. Yeah. Dang! That's fine though. Hopefully that's fine. Okay, you got mana generation, which is good. Well, might as well get that. I should get this this round. I should probably try to get that combination now versus trying to get it later, right? Um, I'm gonna sell the, well, I'm gonna sell the blind and probably just flying Arlick. I think that's a good choice. Selling the blind and selling flying Arlick, I think is a good choice. Not sure what I'm gonna do for the mana generation though. That's definitely gonna be a problem. This situation is also like kind of a problem. Let's not just move this over here. And I can do this. Nice. Okay, uh, and we lose because everyone loses to a burst build. Everyone. Except us, obviously. Somehow, I don't even know how. Maybe because he doesn't have stamina. He doesn't have the stamina potions. Oof. On sale is very nice. More mountain generation is very nice. All of that is very nice. Okay. That was a phenomenal shop. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you right there. But yeah, that was that was a great shop. That was a really, really good shop.
really, really good. We got our Blood Goober, Unhealing Staff, minimal mana generation, so that's like bad, but hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, hopefully we'll be okay. Boom, boom. All right, that works. That'll work. Eh. This guy is scary, bro. He just went for straight DPS. I think we lose this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no way we beat that. Unless we have some crazy mana generation, but we don't. I think that's probably going to be our next business biggest focus. It's probably going to just W key for mana generation. I think I want to get this bunny. Just for the sake of stamina, you know? Stamina is important. And we have no holy items. We're going to need some holy items too. We'll see what happens. Another burst build. This guy's a lot better though. He's got crazy jewels. Nice. We need mana generation. We win that way easier with mana generation, I think. But anyways, I'm gonna pick this up. Um, I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit just because I want it near both of those. And I guess we'll just do this. Okay, and then I guess the rabbit can give us a little bit more mana generation. It's not a lot, but you know, better than none. And it's also giving us stamina as well, so that's good. Oh my gosh. Did 100 damage to us, but we insta heal it. Uh oh, I think my OBS is about to crash. If my OBS crashes, it's gonna be weird. I got this, whoops, OBS has crashed, but I'm still recording, so. We'll see what happens. But yeah, anyways, let's get you. We'll just put you right there. That's more mana generation. More mana generation. I'm looking at this glowing crown for a holy item. That's a lot of money. I'd rather just buy another prismatic orb. Uh. I just realized I could like do that. For mana generation. Well, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Pick you up. I could get a ruby chunk. Why not? I see you. I might as well give me a ruby chunk, right? So I'm gonna give me a ruby chunk as well. And huh. Should I just like W key for her mana? right now with this prismatic orb thinking about it because i need five at the start of the game to insta proc it so i could just use this like oh well but then it'll make this thing slower which is something i don't want i think it'll be fine i'm gonna I'm just do it like this but i think it'll be fine I just want to, you know, having the Whopper Tinger be faster is better, I think. So, uh oh. Damn, Kappa Discomfy. I don't like seeing you. We're doing good, though, so far, which is great. Okay, we did really good. We did really, really good. Awesome. All right, give me this. We got 20 gold. I'll take this. We're gonna need it for this guy. Another one, I will definitely be buying you. Thank you. You are 60% faster. I like that. I like that. <laughs> nice. Okay. Ah. Uh... Oof. Double crown is. Interesting. He's never going to proc them though, which is good because he's got that big boy over there. The blind hurts us though. Okay, we're fine. Awesome. If this would have proc'd, 
I think we lose because those hit for 120 each. <laughs> Would have insta died. Would have gotten one shot, I think. Um, I don't think I need another one of those. I don't really care. Unless I, if it was infinite heat, I'd get it, but I don't really care to get it. I do want to get another Whopper Tinger. Hopefully that can help us from uh, honking so much. We could probably put you over here. Because that is better. And yeah. I don't know what build this is. Looks like just a pet rapier build. A critting rapier with pet build. Not very working. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it has that much synergy. Good game though. Um, don't want anything there. I will definitely be taking as many. I'm taking as many frogs as I possibly can. Every frog I see is a pickup. For sure. Every single one of them. Um, I think I'm gonna just put a fanny right there. You can go here, that can go there, and that can go there. Nice. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. More. We need a W key for prismatic orbs. That's gonna be our next play. For the next three rounds, we're W keying for as many prismatic orbs that we possibly can. Because that's all we need now. Because the only thing we need in this build is more prismatic orbs. Other than that, we're good. We got stamina is good. DPS is good. Healing is good. Like, we killed that guy so fast. Alright. And we got a ruby chunk on top of that. More mana generation. I can't say I can't say no to that. Cannot say no to Fanny's Prim Orb me. Should I W key roll? Or no? I have so many frogs. <laughs> and the Whopper Tingers are just super fast. Super freaking fast. We should win. 100% chance we win this, right? He's got some healing on him, though. This guy is actually scary. And where the heck? Why do you have this? What happened to your blood amulet? Oh, it probably went with the vampiric armor. Interesting. Come soon as I get one vampirum and still 19 life. This would be kind of interesting. I wonder how that. I wonder if there's. Ooh, thank you. I wonder if there's like a build with that with um, staff of unhealing. That could be kind of interesting. If I could get me another orb, that'd be great. I'm willing to sell some things for it, but we already got one in this shop. So like, what are the realistic chances we'll find another? One? Probably not high. Probably better off getting this going crap. Some good positioning for this. Yeah, I think we're better off just getting this glowing crown. Just for the sake of getting that extra healing. I just think that's a better choice. Oh my god. Ugh. I hate making bad choices. Okay, what do we do here? Um, We don't need the deck of cards. We don't need the piggies. I... I need the bananas. Bro, there's no way we can get it up to 12 go without buying or selling something we actually... I, I, we should just sell this. I wasn't expecting to see another one. I don't even need this. Fuck it, I'm selling it. And we have to sell the deck of cards. I just think this is a better... I just think it's better. Just for the sake of getting more holy. Even though it's the same amount of holy. I mean, we get more vampirism. We get more mana. We basically get more of everything. Oh, yeah. By the way, shout out to Crystal Eyes. This is their build. <laughs> this is their build. I saw it and I played with it and I liked it. And I just wanted to make a video on it. So I meant to say that earlier. But, I, you know. Um, but, yeah. Shout out to Crystal Eyes. This is their build. Great person. 
Um, and yeah, you're awesome at backpack battles. So yeah. I feel like I want to rearrange these toads. Well, more specifically this one. I'll put it like there. I don't know if that was a great choice. But I did anyways. Ah, crap. Okay, that went there. I've messed up this entire thing. I want to do this. Um, or something like this. I think I want to do this. No, I want the toad here. That's what I want to do, and then do this. I don't think that really matters because... I mean, that's three and that's six. And this would just be four and six. So yeah, this is just better. And it'll be fine though. I mean, we get we get enough mana at the start of the game to insta proc this anyways. So it's not it's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. This should be fine. Ruby Chunk not even supposed to be here, but whatever. Wow, Dev Side, Phanonomium, and a snake. Whoops! Super fast food. And the amulet of the wild. It didn't matter, you're dead. <laughs> this is a really nice build. I think the strengths, realistically, I think the strengths of this build is to try to like, honestly, just try to insta-proc this guy at the start of the game, which is gonna be hard. But I mean, once you get your first prismatic orb, I think you'll be fine. You only need like three magic items, which is like toads, blueberries. If you insta-proc this, all that healing that you're gonna do while you still have stamina. Cause I noticed this was like struggling when I didn't insta-proc it, but as soon as I insta-proc it or was able to insta-proc it, it was just, we were just good. We were just good. But yeah, that and, you know, like turn a lock lifter, double hungry blade, pretty freaking solid. Pretty solid build. I like this build. But yeah, thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you, Crystallize, you're awesome. Um, and yeah, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.